Okay, Namaste and good morning, students. Today, your first class is going on from online classes. This is the first day and the first chapter you are going to learn. Due to the COVID-19, we are facing a lot of problem, so we are unable to teach in your class. So we are decided to give you online classes. So today we will talk about the first chapter of measurement. What is the first of all? Let's talk about the measurement. What is the measurement? Measurement means when the comparison of unknown quantity with one standard or physical of the same kind that is called measurement. So measurement can be also defined as the comparison of unknown physical quantity with non-physical quantities that is the measurement. We are also you mean measuring the different types of the things in our daily life by the help of the different device or the tools. It means this measurement determines the amount of quantity, how much the quantity is and we are also using the different types of devices like hands, meter, rod, beam balance, watches, physical balance and so on. Not only, it is a very also important in our daily life. Like as for buying and the selling the goods, it helps us very easy. Because this measurement gives the accurate amount of physical quantity also. Yes, it means it also helps to what gives the accurate amount of physical quantities. Not only, it is also the importance for performing the different type of experiments in our lab. In a while we are also going in a science lab you have seen, we are making the different types of the ratios in the experiment. In that experiment you also give the what? Different types of the chemicals in the form of what? Ratio. So no. So it is also the very important in the science lab. Also, it is also the very important for making the amount of medicines. It means while making the medicine also we have to keep in the ratio. Not only it is also important for the constructions of houses, buildings, roads and so on. So while you are making the roads uh, and while you are making the your houses also, you have seen that they were measuring. First of all, they measure the land. After that, they make their what? Houses and how and they are doing the different types of the activities at the time. So what is they are doing? They are measuring the what? The by the help of measurement. Now let us talk about physical quantities. Means those quantity which can be measured directly or indirectly, that is called what? Physical quantity. Like as length, mass, time, velocity, not oh, okay. Volume, sorry, velocity means volume, temperature, that is all our what? Physical quantities. It also, but we are not measure the love, feeling, kindness. They are not the physical quantities. And similarly, the physical quantities are been divided into two quantities, like as one is the fundamental quantities and another is derived quantities. The fundamental quantities is also known as basic physical quantities because these fundamental quantities or the basic quantities is not depend upon the other quantities. It has the already it has the same fundamental units that is the length, mass, time, electric current, amount of substance, luminous, intensity. This fundamental as self, it do not depend upon the other, another quantity. So it is known as what? Physic it is known as what? 
fundamental or the basic physical quantities. Another is derived physical quantities. Those physical quantities which are obtained by multiplying or the dividing. It means they are depend upon whom the other fundamental quantities. They are said to what derived quantities like as area, volume, density, pressure, power, velocity, acceleration, energy. These all are the depend upon the other. Each other means whom to the fundamental quantities. So they are known as what derived physical quantities. Here is one question. Why velocity is called derived quantity? It means velocity, as you know that velocity means what? The, the distance travel per unit time. It means that it is obtained by the dividing on the basic physical quantity that is the length and other physical quantity is time. Therefore, we can say that velocity is the derived quantity because it is depend upon the fundamental quantities that is what? That is the length and the time. Now, let's talk another unit and its time. What is that unit? First of all, we have to understand what is the unit. A unit is a standard quantity which is used to compare on other quantities. It means, or we can say that the reference standard quantity which represent to the perform the different measurement that is called the unit. Like as meter, kilogram, second, newton, these all are the what? The units. And similarly, the unit is also classified into two types, like as the fundamental unit and the derived unit. This fundamental unit are the same as, we have also discussed about the basic unit. This fundamental unit is also the independent unit, which do not which not combined with whom to the derived, it has a self as the same way derived unit means the unit which are derived from the fundamental unit or which are expressed in the term of fundamental unit that is called derived unit. Hence the sum of the fundamental quantities SI unit and the symbol we have seen clearly in the we are looking on the screen length which SI unit is meter and symbol is M plus Kilogram, the symbol is kg, time, second, that is the, we have also seen the symbol is s. In this way, all these seven fundamental units, fundamental quantities and its units are given. Now, we have seen that another is derived unit. Here, derived quantity we have seen area, volume, density, frequency, force energy, power, pressure, electric charge, electric potential difference. Yes, these all are the words derived units and you have seen that the, the derived unit also how it is formed meter like as the area meter square it means that meter into meter volume meter into meter into meter means three times of the meter that is the meter cube because the area of the volume is L into V into H. Volume is with the formula volume L into V into H. So it's a, a fundamental unit is meter cube. So in this way, you have to note it in your copy. Okay. And remember it. Now let's talk about the differences. What you have the fundamental unit and the real unit. I've already told you about the bodies of fundamental units. Yes. And they are the same and exist in the metric system of SI system. Yes, here is the differences between is written in your screen. You have to note it. And here is also the there are the five differences. You have clearly they seen here. And you have to note in your copy the fundamental unit of all those which unit is independent. Yes, and these all are the real unit which all are dependent or which it can be formed okay, by multiplying or the dividing that is the derived unit this fundamental cannot be further reduced yes but it can be reduced and increase also we cannot express in the term of division unit but it can be expressed yes, in this way they are the differences between you have seen in your screen 
so we have to note it in your copy okay now mass what is the mass it means the total quantity of the matter which is present in the body that is what mass means the mass means it is depend upon whom the atom and the mass of each atom of that body it means the mass depend upon the number of atoms how much the number of the atoms is present that is what its mass the total amount the total quantity of matter which is present in the body that is what mass now another the si unit of mass is what is kilogram that is the kg yes and we have to note also here is the note note is written the mass of the body does not change the from place to place so it is a constant quantity it means the mass of the value of that mass is does not change like as weight i will tell you about the weight also now same as the mass will not does not change okay it has the constant value suppose you have to take the 5 kg rice yes then it will be same as when you will go and measure the when you will go and in the valley also the same 5 kg mass will be there but there will be the differences in the weight so i will tell you next uh, after some times about the what is that weight and let's talk about more about the one standard kilogram this one standard kilogram can be defined as the mass of platinum iridium cylinder which is kept at the zero degree that is a zero degree okay zero degree at international bureau of weight and measures it means before there there is a no accurate measurements at the this the weight and the bureau of international weight and measurement what was held in 1960 yes and formed one accurate measurement due to this now there is the equal measurement all over the world now we have seen in the pictures there are the some of the examples of beam balance yes this is the example of the beam balance we have seen by the help of this balance we can measure it yes now i will read to you about the i will talk about the weight what is that weight what is the differences between mass and the weight i will also explain you so dear students all of you note you have also note in your copy yes and now okay now let's talk about the weight the weight of the body is measure of the gravity acting on the body that is called the weight or the force of the gravity applied on the body that is called weight that is weight it means the mass is not affected by the gravity but the weight is affected by the gravity here means some of the weight is affected by whom by the gravity as you know our earth has a gravity it attracts all the bodies towards the center so there is also the effects in the weight means it can be measured by the help of the spring balance yes i will show you the picture of the spring balance so don't worry as a unit of weight is newton and it is a variable quantity why but mass is the constant quantity whereas weight is a variable quantity because it can be vary from place to place okay so it is a vary means it affects the gravity so on the or the maximum value is at the sea level the maximum value of weight is where at the sea level it has the more weight at the poles than the equator also it means the weight it means the weight is more at the poles than the equator we can simply calculate the weight by using the formula w is equal to mg for this w is equal to mg m means mass and g means acceleration due to gravity whose value is 9.8 meter per second square or generally you can also use what 10 meter per second square we have seen here here is the spring balance i will show you the spring balance this is clearly the pointer is given holders this scale calibration in the newtons is given here and a spring pulled on by an object you have clearly seen in the pictures of the spring balance which helps to measure the weight and weight is what is it is a variable this yes? variable it is place to place it is a vary what is what is the reason due to the effect of gravity now 
Let's compare the mass and weight. Did you know? We have to compare the mass. It means the mass is the property of the matter, but weight is the effect of the gravity. Yes, mass is the how much amount of matter contained in that body that is the mass. Whereas weight is also the it is affected by the whom the gravity due to weight in everywhere the mass is the same, but weight due to the effect of the gravity the weight is varied from place to place. Now another the mass does not change according to the location. I already told you it does not change the its location. It is varied from it does not vary from place to place the mass. But the weight is varied. The mass is a square quantity, but whereas weight is vector quantity. Yes, the mass can be measured using my ordinary balance also, but weight can be measured by using the spring balance. So in this way, the differences are given in your screen. So you have to note it in your copy by using the pause. You have to pause your videos and you can note it in your copy. And please remember it. Now, another is time. What is that time? The duration between any two events that is called what? Time. It means we can measure or we can measure the time by helping the watch or the clock. Okay. And we have seen in the screen there are the different types of the watches and the clock we have seen in the screen. Yes. So, duration between any two events that is called what? Time. It means here I have written the SI unit, so you have to write uh, the SI unit of the time is what? Second. This is second. So, means one. Now let's talk about the one solar day. One solar day means one day. One solar day means one day. It means the time taken by the Earth to complete one rotation around its sun or its axis. To complete one rotation is yes, the sun takes 24 hours, that is called what? Solar day. That is called what? One solar 